Hey guys, Moms Against Medical Bullying. We just got out of the library. And, uh, I mean, I don't think the front of our library could have any more signs than what it does. Here, here, over here. Signs everywhere. Signs, signs, signs. So, um, yeah, we just got out of there. It was kind of stressful, obviously, because everyone looks so happy wearing their masks. They're just really enjoying themselves. And, um, and being at the library made me think about something, the, the, uh, psychology of, um, singling people out. And so I'm going to look at a study or like an article about the psychology used like social social experiments about singling people out and how they behave and react. This is for quarantine books. I guess they quarantine the books that they get back because all of a sudden now the books have germs. But before the before the uh, operation COVID, none of the books had germs on them only now. So that's that. And let's see here. We've got uh, Lost my we've got, you can't drink out of the water fountain, of course. Because you can't touch this, can't touch but you can touch this right here. Yeah. The white things are covering some little things that toddlers can play with, but they can't touch those. They can touch the wall next to it. And uh, there, hold on one second, please. There used to be uh, a lot of toys hanging around here. I know more toys for the kids. That's a that toy was a room shut down where there would be toys and um, story time. Nothing in there closed, barred off. So this is what it is. And when I walked in, the lady asked us, she asked me, uh, you know, do you have a mask? I said, no, we're exempt. And don't get me wrong, guys. It's, it's stressful. It's not, it's not a pleasant experience. I don't enjoy it, but it is what it is.